I'm Edie Lush and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in the Maya Riviera. Really pleased to be joined by John Harthorne, founder and CEO of Mass Challenge. So tell me, how can startups and entrepreneurs change the world? Yeah, so we launched Mass Challenge at the very depth of the recession. The Dow was below 7,000 when we launched. And we launched it in order to restore creativity to the soul of the economy and create growth and jobs and optimism and hope. The thing is this, most of the economy and most business schools are focus you on dividing up a pie of value. There's an assumption that there's a fixed amount of resources and wealth in the world and we're all fighting for our slice. That actually, the much more important lever and the much more effective lever is to create more pie. Rather than fight each other over slices of pie, you can create more pie and that's exactly what startups do. They are the creative force in the economy, creating new industries, uh, new value chains, new opportunities that are vast and huge. And if we can shift more of the economy towards the startups, then we will all be much better off solving problems, having jobs, creating wealth, growth, optimism. It's a, it's a significantly better model. So what are, what's an example you can give me of something that you've seen happen within Mass Challenge that could be useful for, for Latin America, for example? So we had, we've had a, a number of startups come out of Latin America and into Mass Challenge. We've had two winners, one from Mexico last year and one from Colombia the year before. The Colombian team was a life science startup uh, that is working on a technology to help uh, aid skin grafts, so burn victims or other in, victims of other injuries that require skin transfers. Uh, tra skin transplants and what they've done is they've created a technology that enables them to take a very tiny amount of skin from somewhere else in the body and then grow it to a significantly larger size uh, within a matter of a day or two and then they can transfer that onto the patient so that rather than take a large amount of skin from somewhere else in the body to, to accomplish the skin graft they can take a very small amount minimizing collateral damage and improving the overall healing process so that's just one example that will obviously help a lot of injured individuals will also be a very profitable business uh, and therefore can create a a lot of jobs and growth. And what's the startup from Mexico that you've worked with? The startup from Mexico was a great social impact story. So it was uh, two really, really impressive young entrepreneurs. And they've developed a, uh, a watch uh, that helps uh, aids the uh, uh, blind people uh, to navigate around obstacles. So typically you see people with a cane, which would not go away in this scenario, but instead they would also wear a watch and that could also watch for higher objects where the cane is only looking for, mm -hmm. for low-lying objects like curves or steps. Uh, this also would stop them from bumping into an overhanging uh, balcony or something like that. Um, and it's a really cool technology and has developed entirely in Mexico, brought it to Boston and the people in Boston loved it. And they were hands down one of our favorite, uh, favorite teams just for their character alone, their mm -hmm. personalities, uh, but also I think the technology is really great. And what's next for Mass Challenge? Uh, so we have 25 teams in our round two and our semifinalists this year from Latin America and we are looking to expand. So today we exit, we have a program in Boston and we have a program in the UK and London. Uh, we also have a smaller program in Israel. We'd like to expand the program in Israel and we want to launch 10 new locations globally over the next five years, including several throughout Latin America. And it looks like Mexico would be up next. Uh, we have a very advanced uh, relationship with Mexico, lots of interested partners and sponsors, uh, as well as also in, in Colombia. And then all over Europe, we have great relationships in Switzerland. We like to bring it through the Middle East and into Africa where we're starting to explore opportunities. So what's next for Mass Challenge is a global growth and expansion. We'd like to be able to reach everybody with a good idea and help connect them to the resources they need to create that, turn that idea into a business that creates jobs, wealth, growth, and solves problems. John, thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion here in the Maya Riviera. And I'm Edie Lush. Thank you.